y'all. It's me, Miss Wallace. I'm actually um, out of town. Section 71, The Law of Sign. But I wanted to make a quick recording for you um, to show you a little bit about the Law of Signs. Here we go. Obviously, we were already going. Now we're going again. It's all based on triangles, but here you're going to assume that the triangle is not a right triangle. It could be a different shape. And we'll call that ABC. And if you remember from back long ago, little a is opposite of angle A. Right. And little b is opposite of angle B. And then little c, we'll draw it with a little curly Q, is opposite of angle C. In this section for WebAssign and on the test, you'll be given a couple of these things and asked to solve for the remaining sides or angles. That's called solving a triangle. The law of sine says that if you know the angle of one and the side of another, you can set up a proportion that says that sine of A over side A is equal to sine of B over side B. That's also equal to sine of C over side C. Okay, so for example, if you're given angle A is, let's say, 80 degrees, angle B is 30 degrees, little b is 18 centimeters, we should be able to find side A. So we just plug straight into the formula. We take the sine of A over little a equal the sine of b over little b because that's what they gave us. And we don't necessarily need to write c. We're not looking for c right now. To solve a proportion, you know we're going to cross multiply. You do that with just two things. So we're plugging in. We've got sine of 80 degrees over little a equal to sine of 30 degrees over little b. Cross multiply. 18 times sine of 80. equals A times sine of 30, and of course divide by sine 30. If you round to the nearest whole number, you should end up with A equal to 35 centimeters.